In this video, I want to show you how to apply the Windows 11 theme to your Linux Mint machine. Welcome to Linux Ort. I would say, let's start right through. At first, we need to download some icons, themes and so on. You will find all links in the video description. Here you find the Fluent 11 icon theme. So I head over to the latest release here and select the source code zip file and download this one. We also do the same with the window and cinnamon theme, which is the Fluent GTK theme. And I go right into the releases and also download the latest source code zip file of this release. At the next point, we need to download the Windows 11 wallpaper, head over to images, select the corresponding image and right click it and select save image as and here I select my pictures folder and save this as a normal JPEG file. I also put you the link to this image into the video description. After that we can close our browser and we open up our file manager. Here in our file manager we select downloads and select both zip files, right click one and select extract here. This takes about 10 to 15 seconds. After that, we have our Fluent GTK theme and Fluent 11 icon theme. Let's start with the installation of the Fluent GTK theme. I click on this folder and right click the right space here, select open in terminal and type in the following command dot slash install dot sh. You can autocomplete via the tab key on your keyboard. I hit enter and then it is all installed. Let us close the terminal and let's head over to downloads and then select view and activate the extra pane and also select view and select show hidden files. On the right side, I click once to the right space and I select my home folder. Here in the home folder, I create a new folder called icons. In this case, this icons folder just exists, but if it doesn't exist, just right click your white space in your home folder, select create new folder and name it icons. It has to be named exactly like this. Then I press the enter key and I double click the icons folder. On the left side, in my downloads folder, I head over into the icon theme folder and here we find two themes. I select both one and drag and drop them right to the other side. Now this is in dot icons. Now I can close everything and we open up our menu and search for themes. Here I open up the themes settings and I head over to advanced settings. Here in advanced settings, I select my mouse pointer. I'm going with DMC white. I also go in applications with Fluent Light. This is here. And in the icons, I select Fluent 11. And in the desktop, I select also Fluent Light. Now our icon theme and theme is set. Just head over to our wallpaper. I right click this desktop here and select change desktop background. Now I have to select the folder where the wallpaper is stored in. In my case, it is stored directly in the pictures folder, which is added by default. If you have saved this image in another folder, just hit plus and select the corresponding folder. I can just single click on this wallpaper and now this wallpaper is chosen. At the last step, we need to adjust our taskbar. I right click our taskbar and select panel edit mode. Here in the panel edit mode, I drag and drop these three icons to the middle of the screen. Here you see a small green space. Just drag and drop it into the green space. So I'm doing this also with this small separator here. I drag and drop it right before these standard icons and I drag and drop this menu also before this small separator. 
Then I right click the panel again and select applets. Here in the applet settings, I head over to download and after some time we can install the weather applet. I just hit install and then we head over to manage and here in manage we can just one click the weather applet and select add with this plus button. And then we can just drag and drop this one to the very left bottom corner or left side of this panel into this red space. After some time, the weather is loaded again and now we can just close our applets and head over to the panel, just right click it and select panel edit mode or unselect it, better to say. Then right click your menu and select configure. Here in the menu, select the corresponding icon. I head over to the icon and search for Windows. Here we see the distributor logo Windows. So I open that one up and here we have our Windows logo. Now I adjust the icon size a bit, for example, 238. If you want, you can also enable use menu animations. Then this looks a bit nicer. Then I can close the menu settings and if I open up the menu, then we see a small hover effect and it just looks a bit like Windows. Sadly, we can't change too much in this menu here, but I would say this is okay. So yeah, this is how you apply a Windows 11 theme to your file manager, which looks very convenient for existing Windows 11 users and who want to feel a bit more comfortable. If you found this video helpful, please consider to like and subscribe to this YouTube channel to get even more useful tips because every new week we are uploading new stuff around Linux and open source. So make sure to don't miss the future videos. We also now have Twitter and Mastodon. So if you are on one of these platforms, feel free to follow us to get even more information. So yeah, this was it for today. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.